At the moment, young people don't know enough about what opportunities there are in the creative industries. Young people are not seeing the value in taking up creative pursuits. It's really hard for young people to find out whether there's any programmes, whether there's any work experiences available. They think, you know, uh, what does this job mean? What does that job mean? Or they don't know about creative industries as the place to go for a career where you can actually earn a proper wage. Young people from the hard to reach places might be the absolute geniuses of tomorrow. But at the moment, I don't think they're getting on the journey. And it's not their fault, it's our fault because we don't tell them. I find it hard to know where to meet those people and I think we need a lot of help in this idea of bringing people together, hubs, more events. Where is the next generation of artists and producers going to come from? The Creative Careers Programme is an industry-wide initiative to bring together absolutely everyone across the creative economy to connect with young people across England. We up till now haven't, as a set of industries, been able to connect, to join together and to work to make information available about this amazing set of industries. We have to remind ourselves that everything that we see and do, the clothes we wear, the furniture that we sit in, the rooms that we occupy, have had some creative force behind them. I used to work in the sector myself before I came into politics, so I know at first hand how exciting it can be to be at the forefront of a fast-changing environment that is really a powerhouse for the rest of the country. The creative industries are one of the few sectors that actually are going to be less affected by automation. And you've got companies and industries crying out for the next generation of creativity and talent. The Creative Careers programme has the ability to really open up to new pools of talent that maybe we haven't gone and fished in before. A careers programme is so important because it's going to make sure that in the future the creative industries and therefore our national culture is enriched by everyone from every corner of the country. We demand and um, thrive on a multiplicity of voice. And the creative organisations here at Somerset House often work in an interdisciplinary way. Their difference with somebody else's practice makes what they turn out stronger. If we want to be really creative as a sector and buoyant, we need that kaleidoscope of voices. And the benefit of this isn't just anecdotal, because on average companies with more diverse leadership teams, well, they report almost 20% higher revenues from innovation. Over the next year, the Creative Careers Programme will do three things. The first is it will inspire young people to discover what they could do with their creative skills when they leave school. The second is that it will ensure that they then have access to the careers information and guidance that they need. And third, it will equip employers to diversify their workforce and plug skill shortages. Different things are going to work with different young people, so from workshops to talks to work experience, all of these will play a really vital role in making sure they understand the full variety of what's available. Come work with us, share information, share knowledge, help us deal with the challenges that we have together and bring your voice into the room so it can be heard and we can also support you. Now is a really great time for any organisation or leader to join the Creative Careers Programme because if we don't start doing this now we're going to run into a big problem in a few years where they haven't heard enough about these careers and the different pathways that they can take. In 10 years I hope the creative industry will be a lot more diverse, a lot more happy and a lot more accessible for young people. And nobody really knows what the unbelievable opportunities are and I hope this is going to change things. <laughs>